now it's day two and I want to show you where the um, the gas and everything is on it it has a little underlock just uh, just like uh, most of the little scooters did in during that day but you push up on it and the seat's supposed to come up I think it will here if I hard to do one-handed damn it anyway well let me use two hands to see if I can do this we'll twist it right there and we'll push right there come on there we go now, as you can see, this fuel tank, it holds about, I don't know, a gallon, but, excuse me, you can see the label here, it's in perfect shape, just hasn't been used. Back here, this is the oil tank, right here, right underneath here is a, a box for your... Um, your little it has a battery right there with the wiring schematic everything is just in very good shape except for a little dust and I think I'll take the oil out of the tank because it's probably been there since 1985 but that's how it works it has a little gas tank and it has a nice little um, on off reserve setup which was uh, common for that day the idle is running a little high the one thing is it idles differently than when I start the bike because it's got an automatic choke it gets warmed up and it starts to slow down a little bit and that has to do with those two adjustments and I have to just dial them in better so that's more about the gyro today and then I'm gonna do a little adjusting and then take it out for a ride now I found that the little bike holds a third of a quart of transmission oil now what it is they don't tell you and I found the drain hole but I don't know if it's the fill hole also it's a really big bolt uh, not bolt right where to go right there so what I'm gonna do is I've I got it up on a jack and I'm gonna jack the whole bike up just to be safe and tip the back end up so the oil comes out then I'm going to put in a new 1040 oil so I think that's all it takes. It's 1040. Uh, of course, thinking what it might take is is uh, a lot of people screwed up that way. And down in here, uh, these are the two adjustments I have to make. These two little. The top one is for the the slide height. The bottom one is the idle jet. And these are the ones I'm having problems with. The Japanese has designed these two little screws really nicely, so we can get your hand in there. If, you, if I had a little Japanese hand and you can um, get your fingers to grip something so it's kind of fun ha having to figure out what that's that's like but I'm going to change the transmission oil because this is probably the oil that came with it and the oil looks fine of course it's 25 years old so I wouldn't I wouldn't trust that uh, I'm going to change that and do some adjustment and we'll see if we can go for a ride This is my front cowling, which is purple, along with the back uh, cowling in the front, which I'm going to change colors to this color right here. But I want to show you that you can still find some good deals on eBay. This is an electronics package I just purchased. I didn't have the money, but I want to show you what you can get if you look carefully. I bought this for $15 all these pieces 
everything is almost brand new this list price for forty seven dollars this brass piece list price for twenty two dollars this resistor is seventeen dollars this rectifier right here this is eighty dollars the coil which comes in three pieces one two and three pieces this lists for eighty two dollars this is a starter relay right here and this lists for thirty five dollars and this is the CDI stock CDI which goes right here anyway and it's in perfect shape this one retails for one hundred and sixteen dollars so for fifteen dollars I was able to get three hundred and ninety dollars worth of parts for fifteen bucks plus four dollars shipping so that was a good deal and then I, I broke one of these out just to show you this is Japanese tail light this is the bottom side of it it's made by Kimco I've got a couple of them and this one isn't uh, it's in good shape but you take off your uh, motorcycle gas tank and you put it on and this one has smoked yellow and this is what it looks like without the lights in it kind of gives you a nice wrap around look and they either come in clear or smoked lenses and they're just they're just really nice so I'm working on that right now so I'm going to begin my painting and we'll see how it goes. Okay.